Just doing the face yoga, everything kind of tightened up and I think the contours of my face are looking just a little younger, a little more well-defined. And I am personally so excited about this face yoga. And if you're not a subscriber to the 50 Plus Beauty family of videos, I hope you will subscribe. And when you click that little bell, that just notifies you of my future videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up and or share it with a friend, that would really help with the YouTube algorithm. Okay, I can't wait to get into this. And in the comments section under that video, and many, many thousands of people saw that video, which was wonderful because it was the results video, which is always exciting. But basically, many people asked if I could do this like a workout facial yoga video. In other words, that you could do the exercises right along with me. And that's a little challenging to do the video in real time because I'd like to tell you what each exercise does for you when you're doing it. And so I'll try to put supers below the video to save time because I think it would be great if this was a video you could come back to again and again and work out right along with me. So if you've been here before and you'd like to do the workout, I'll put the timestamp below so you can zip ahead. But before I get to the actual workout, let me give you a few tips and explain what I'm going to be doing. Well, in that six weeks results video, what I did was a brief facial workout five mornings a week. And I do that along with my new face. I still absolutely love the new face. And I do both of those things during my morning weight routine. And pretty soon I'm going to be posting a video to show you my morning beauty routine because it really checks all the boxes in terms of getting in all my beauty routines that I really enjoy. And all of them together take about an hour and that includes about a 50 minute weight workout. So it's really not all that time intensive to do. Basically the series is just 11 exercises and again they take maybe 10 minutes. It's really pretty quick. And I click them on my cell phone and so every morning when I'm doing my weight routine down in my basement workout room, between the weight reps you're supposed to wait between three and five minutes between each heavy set of weights. And so between one of the sets I actually do this entire little workout. And what I do is on each exercise, I do 50 holds on that exercise, and then I hold it for a fast count of 50. And it's probably better if you do a slower count of 50, but basically what you're trying to do is, after you do the first 50 reps of the exercise, you're holding it intensely and holding that muscle to get that lactic acid burn feel. And that's a really good thing, because that means those muscle fibers are slightly breaking down, they're damaged, they're getting a little inflamed, and then over the course of 20 for hours, you are regrowing new muscle fibers that are pulling in your face. And so now I've been doing the face yoga or the face exercises over two months, and I really think it is making a difference in helping my contours of my face feel more tight and toned. And I will say that a lot of you ask about the facial flex, which is that little device that I used to use for several years on YouTube, and I would use it for three or four months until I would feel like I was getting some nasal fold lines, and then I would back off on it for a few months. times. Just wow, who, wow, 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 wow. Okay, I think that was about 12 of them. Then an area that I really want to work on is the tip of my nose because it was getting wider and our nose grows longer and wider as we age. And basically what you do is that you put your index finger at the base of your nose and kind of push it up. Then you're going to take your thumb and index finger from the other side and put it here. And basically this is your resistance for this and you're just going to be squeezing. I don't know if you can see that. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 
30, then hold it for 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Woo! And you would not believe the changes in your nose that this can create in really a very short amount of time. All of a sudden your nose will start to narrow at the end, the tip will get to be more refined looking, and you can see that within a week to 10 days. It is truly an amazing exercise. Now, the second exercise I do is something specifically for me. If you already have a narrow face, you may not want to do this one. But this is a face slimming exercise. And since I've been doing it, I really think my face is slimming down rather nicely. Okay, what you're going to do in this exercise is you're going to put your lips tightly over your teeth. Okay. You're going to tighten your cheeks and then pull your fingers up and keep it tight as if you're using two strings to pull the sides of your face up and slim them down. And visualize that happening too. Visualize the muscles getting tight and slimming your face. Here you go. Lips over teeth. You're visualizing the sides of your face slimming down. Okay, the next exercise is designed to open up our eyes. And what you do is you just place your fingers above your eyebrows, and you're just going to open up the eyes 50 times and then hold it for 50 times. And you're using your fingers here as weights and resistance to work against the eyes opening. So we're going to do it 50 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, now hold it for 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 3, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Ooh, that makes your eyes feel really tired. And over time, it does increase the size of your eyes, but it also tightens up all your upper eye muscles, which makes this area look more firm and less hooded. Okay, the next exercise targets your nasal folds here, and they tend to deepen as we get older. And on my face, it was one of the first things I ever noticed that started to look deeper and started to look really wrinkly and linier. So what we do is we take our thumbs and put them right here, and then you're going to put your fingers up here on your forehead, kind of making the shape of a little heart. And what you're going to do is you're going to feel these muscles. One, two, three. And when you do each pulse, you're really going to feel those muscles under the nasal fold kind of bulk up, and the idea is to really stress them. So let's do 50 and then hold for 50. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 30, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50, hold, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 3, 2, 3, 4, 
That really hurts, and as you can tell, the blood has really rushed to this area because you are really stressing those muscles, which is just wonderful. Now this next exercise targets the double chin and firms up the jawline. And what I'm doing is I put my palms over my chest here because we're creating resistance when we raise our neck. You can feel the stretch there. What I'm doing in my mouth you can't really see is I'm pushing my tongue up firmly against the roof of my mouth. I don't know how I'm going to be able to count from doing this one. Maybe I can't, but I'll go ahead and show you how it works. And you're just pushing up your tongue. Side, but that tongue going to the roof of the mouth is a really powerful thing. Now this next exercise helps to firm the outside pouches. Now this next facial exercise helps to firm the outside pouches that we get beside our lips and also helps turn up the corners instead of turning them down as we get older, which tends to happen. What you do is you put your lips over your teeth like this and then you're going to use your fingers as resistance at the sides of each corner of your mouth and then you're just going to Lift up the sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 10, now we're going to hold. and hold it. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. Ooh, that really hurts. And it was kind of hard for you to see, I know. But what you're doing is you're kind of smiling. Each time you pulse the outside corner of your lips and you smile, one, two, three, you can almost hear the muscles in your head. It's kind of hard to explain, but you can almost hear the muscles crunching together. And that really does exercise this whole portion of your face, which really eliminates those bags and sacks. Now this next exercise really does target the outer parts of your mouth, and it really helps turn them up instead of turning them down, so you don't end up looking like sad and so I'll turn to the side so you can see it. This is called the smacker room. And basically what you do is you put your chin up and you're going to blow on each count. Like that. And I obviously can't count while I'm doing it. But I'll go ahead and do the 50 count silently.
addition to lifting the corners of your mouth and curing the nasal folds, it also makes you lightheaded. Now, this next exercise firms your double chin area and also firms the sides of your cheeks. And you just put your palms beside your face and you lift your head slightly. You just want to hook out your tongue for 50 times. Here we go, and I want you to count it. Then you just hold that position for 50. Whew, that hurts your tongue and you can really feel it under your chin. Now this next exercise is also said to greatly reduce a double chin and to firm up the whole jawline here. And what you do here is you put your arms over your head in kind of a Y and you're going to bring your shoulders down, keeping your arms up, and you're going to put your tongue from side to side 50 times and then a 50 count hold. So here we go and I can't count here. And then just go back and forth for 50 times and I do 10 count to one side, 10 count to the other, etc. Ooh, I kind of lost count of that, but I think that was roughly 50. So that is all 11 exercises. And remember, every time you make a move, just make sure to stress that muscle as much as you can, even to where you can almost hear it flexing in your ears. It's kind of hard to explain. But once you start this, you'll probably have that experience. And so you'll know what I'm talking about. And then when you hold it for the 50 counts, Really make sure to stress those muscles and hold them, clench them as tight as you can, because you do want that lactic acid burns. And again, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things youthing, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel, click the bell, and or share this video with a friend. And I did want to tell you that I may look a little bit different today, and that is because I just got lip injections for the second time. My first lip injections were Restylane, and they lasted 10 months. And I finally got a topping off this week, and I used a new Restylane formula called Restylane Kiss, K-Y-S-S. -S. And if you'd like to see a video about that, please mention that in the comment section below because I can show you the whole healing process. And they're not healed yet, and that's actually why I did this video in lipstick because I still have some bruising out on the corners of my mouth. Sorry, I'm looking in my monitor below as a mirror, but I do have some bruising still. I had them done Tuesday afternoon about four, and it is Saturday afternoon at about four, so that's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So this is four days on my new lips, and they're still kind of swollen. I think they'll go down for the next week or even two weeks, but again, if you'd like to see a video about that, I would love to share it with you. Okay, I always like to 